Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, my phone is ringing. Wonder what could be going on, it's the month of June now. Hello. Uh, oh hey, it's Harvey, I'm calling from on the phone part of your phone. So, hey, I know this is out of the blue and everything, but like, I like might need kind of a favor. I've got some real sweet folks here who wanted some special photos made. I could use an extra paw if that's okay. Wait. You have hands, don't you? I have hooves. Uh, you can bring those too. <laughs> Think you could ramble your way to Photopia and help a shutter dog out? I'll blow you in when you get here. To get to Photopia, go to the airport and let them know you want to go to Harv's Island. Okay, I'll see ya. So we're gonna go to Harv's Island today and do some kind of interesting wedding event going on. It's really exciting. But also, we got some mail. Oh, all sorts of mail. So, Nook Shopping. Um. I guess it was probably the KK Slider thing. Happy Home Academy again. Didn't we just have them last episode? That was only two days ago. <laughs> Congratulations to celebrate the new addition to your home. Oh yeah, that's right, our house has expanded. Um, please accept this gift. It's fun to create a space based on your hobbies uh, where, you, where you're surrounded by things you love. Place in pocket. Very cool. Um, bank of Nook. Oh, thank you for maintaining your Bank of Nook account. Um, we do appreciate your business. You earned interest of 13 bells. I don't know why it's so small, but okay. Uh, we've completed the expansion of your lovely home. However, during construction, we had to place one or more wall hanging items in your storage. Hope you understand, of course. Um, Kyle, uh, whoa, Zebra, mega great congratulations on the mega sizing your pad. Be sure to set aside some time to enjoy this gift when you're not busy cleaning your huge house. Ha <laughs> ha, you're welcome, Kyle. So we got something from him. And then also Nook Shopping. Um, Sincere thanks for continued patronage of Nook Shopping. I'd like to inform you that we have some wonderful new seasonal offerings in stock. Please take a look when you can. I would love to. So, all sorts of new stuff there. What I want to take a look at for right now is um, KK Ballad. Cool. Um, we get a present here. This is uh, Rock Guitar. Is this from Kyle? Oh, we already have this one. <laughs> That's a shame. But also, well, maybe this one was Kyle. An amp. We already have an amp. It does match the color though, so maybe we should keep with that one. That's awesome. We also, not not a photo, but we also have some Nook Miles over this way. Um, where are they? Right here, Dream House, home that you build yourself. Gives you greater livability, of course. So we got five out of five. So I think we have like two more upgrades left to go. That's really exciting. I'm sure it's gonna be like an upstairs and then maybe a downstairs. That would be so cool. Oh, looks like her bush has finally grown and Sahara is here today. Hello, you are calling me Sahara, for it is the name I have carried for as long as I have carried these rugs. Alrighty then, so we might wanna buy some stuff from her. Uh, let's do some mysterious flooring. 3,000 bells, yes. Let's just buy a large flooring. I mean, or just a mysterious flooring. You know, and just sort of smack this onto the new room. Cause I don't know what that new room is gonna be. I haven't decided yet. But let's talk to her again. Uh, let's do mysterious wallpaper too. Uh, three, okay, I can't afford that. I'll pass. Um, but I think if I buy a rug from her, she'll give me stuff. So maybe I'll do that rug, please. Uh, so I'll just do a, a full size. We'll be totally out of cash after that, for now. Um, but that's still cool. And I hear, I think something flying around, so we'll go ahead and get that. But very, very nice. Glad to get all that out of the way. All right, so did you give me an exchange ticket? Yeah, three tickets are yours now. So I think I might have enough for a free rug. That would be cool. But for right now, um, where is that present? It's over this way. Do we still need to get a shovel? I think we do. This is a blue present, so, uh, where, okay, that's right there. I was looking into my inventory to see if, you know, anything took the place of the shovel. It's a fireplace, place item. Whoa, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay. We also got a look miles done, I guess, for um, spending bells. 5,000. That's exactly what we spent. So there's another 400. We have the 43,000 miles. We just passed 40,000 last episode. So that's cool. So lots going on there. How exciting is that? Um, is there weeds back here? What is this? Yeah, I guess weird looking weed weeds. But either way, it is the month of June, which means that there should be also a whole host of new bugs and. Um, Oh yeah, I don't have a shovel. <laughs> Bugs and fish and stuff, so I'm so excited about that, um, because it's a new season now, so I'm pretty sure like a lot of stuff should be popping up. Hey, Rolf. Hey, how are you doing? What's the latest? All right, so what to do now? Day's getting away from me. I know that feeling. What do you need, Grof? Wanna chat? Hey, you ever been over to visit the old Pashmina place? 
Uh, it's not for me to say, but I'm sure glad I don't live there to teach, to teach your own, Groff. That's a little rude. Oh, hey, kiddo, what's on your mind? Tell me, do you kiddos still have a song of the summer these days? You know, that one song that everyone's listening to all summer that just gets stuck in your head? Like, the one that went, uh, let's see. Summer, summer, it's so great. Or, you know, something like that. <laughs> he gets very nervous when he sings. I mean, I'm sure there is. Oh, let's catch our first fish in the new season. It's actually very, like, gray today. Looks like it's about to rain. Maybe it will. Okay, so let's see what we get. It's probably just a sea bass. Nope, it's a red snapper. I don't know how many new fish we'll actually run into in today's episode, but I certainly want to try and see. But I'll collect some fish, some shells, see if we can't put up some cash, because I will need to get a new shovel at the least. Um, but yeah, just very clad with all that. It looks like Kyle's out and about somewhere. Oh, here's our message in a bottle. Pashmina's out, Apple's out, everybody's out right now. Join the, the the second day of summer, it's June 2nd. Uh, hey Zebra, I found this epic relax spot during my walk, so I'm taking a break. I'm all about having fun, but I also love sitting, so I guess this is a sit party. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Hello. What is up, Zebra? I wanna chat. I can't decide what I wanna do next. Do I go bug catching, fishing, maybe gardening? Ah, too many choices. I, I suggest gardening. You again, kidders? Did you forget something last time? Yep. <laughs> Sometimes it's tough to know uh, how you're really feeling. Try this, take a deep breath and look inside yourself. Now, still inside yourself, look up. What's the weather like? Sunny skies, dark clouds. I mean, right now it's a little bit dark out. <laughs> look out! <laughs> um, but if you're talking about internally, I'm gonna say pretty sunny. Nice, no wonder you always look so happy, kidders. Can't argue with sunny skies, right? Alrighty then, so let's see. I think that might be for like talking to villagers. I guess so, we get another 400 miles. Really racking up with that so far today. We should all also just um, chop some wood because that would be some really easy miles. But there's not gonna be any fruit trees today because we, we got a lot of them last episode. So I'm guessing next episode the fruit should be back. I think it's like every three days. It's definitely not every other day we would have had it today because like I said, I didn't play yesterday. Anyways, got all that. Went over this way then. Yep, there we go. Let's talk to Gigi as well. She's just chilling out. Hi, Gigi. Sitting here and getting in touch with nature like this is so relaxing. Is she falling asleep? She did this last time too. <laughs> Let's talk to her again. Ah, this is so relaxing. Once I sit down, it's like I put down roots and can't move anymore. You might just find me here tomorrow. Let's hope not. You need to eat and probably it might be better for you to sleep indoors, but okay. Anyways, let's catch a fish. That's a little off. This might be better. Oh, come on now. Nice, right away. And there we go. Not a new fish, but it's something. Also, I never went here last episode. I never went to the Able Sisters, so that was silly of me. I guess I've just sort of been missing out on stuff. I just forget to check the Able Sisters from time to time. Um, but yeah, this time we'll go to our house. We'll see this new room. Very excited for it, just right over this way. Oh, we have to check the turnip prices. So let me definitely grab these. Maybe I should just check the prices first um, before I grab everything. Um, drop, don't eat 10 turnips. Don't do it. There we go. And drop. There we go. Leave those there. Let's go into our new room. And there shouldn't be too much going on here, but we can put some stuff out. That'll be fun. Uh, so let's see. First off, let's read this message in a bottle because I need to. Is there someone somewhere sometime? Turns out great DIY ideas can hit you hit our really inconvenient times like just, yeah, okay, we've read this message before. Wooden block bench, how cool is that? And uh, we have our daisy meadow, fancy. And also a blue dotted rug. All right. Sure, <laughs> you know what? We're just leaving it like that for now. Um, and the fireplace. I wanna see the fireplace. Place item. There we go. That's really nice. I like the fireplace a lot. Can we put something on top of the fireplace? Place item. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so I like the fireplace a lot. Um, the amp would go into the other room. So let's figure that out real quick. But yeah, our house is getting bigger and bigger. That's so exciting. Um, we'll keep working on that over time, of course, but for right now, I'm gonna march back over this way. And what color is the amp that's in here? Oh, that's also, okay, so I got like identical stuff. Place item. 
Um, yeah, it's identical. And so is this guitar, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, same guitar. So I guess I could sell these. Might as well. Um, I feel bad, but, you know, I already have them. So let's go ahead and register our new KK Ballad. Ooh. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, another cool song to add to the collection. We'll get another one in today's episode later on. Um, but yeah, I haven't, honestly, I was expecting it to be like sprawling with new bugs and creatures and stuff, but honestly, I haven't seen too much because this is the first time we're jumping seasons. Um, since the game launched on March 20th, the game has been in spring, but I'm pretty sure that now it's in June, it's technically summer. So yeah, I'm a bit disappointed to see there isn't too much going on with that. We need to go and get a shovel. So yeah, we're gonna pick that up. We're gonna sell some of the fish we have. I don't know if it'll be enough to get me where I need to be, but we'll try and we'll find out. We'll also see what the uh, turnip prices are. We bought them at 94 bells, so we just gotta keep checking. Oh, hey, there's Biff. Uh, hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. Are you guys also selling something new? Uh, seems like you're interested in Retro Fan. I will take a pass, but I'm guessing, I guess they just have like a new spot for selling things. Weird. Hey. A phonograph costs more bells than I can do push-ups. <laughs> Whoa, my wallet's on Vap off. How much is that? Phonograph, 53,000 bells. I'll take a pass too. And I think we've seen this were open sign before, but what is this? It's like a fridge on its side. Freezer, okay, <laughs> that's fancy. 3,500 bells, I'll take a pass, but I like it. It's cool looking. Um, And then down this way, what do you guys have? Oh, like a little kitchen scale weight, that's cool. I gotta get some more money before I can get something like that. I need the shovel first and foremost. But for right now, we can sell this rock guitar amp um, shells, fish, it's not too much, but it's its something. Oh, and also these oranges. There we go. 6,900, okay then, that's good enough for me to afford the shovel. So I'm definitely going to get that. Um, So, shovel is right here, it is a colorful shovel. I'll buy it. And you guys got anything else for me? Nothing that I see that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need it. So I think I'll take a pass. And what about the kitchen scale? And on kitchen scale, oh, that's pretty cheap. I'll buy it. Okie doke. So we're gonna skedaddle for now. But uh, thank you guys for the, the things to buy. <laughs> I guess, uh, but now that we have the shovel, we can definitely start digging up some of these fossil spots, which is, you know, mostly what I'm focused on. So we got this colorful shovel. You'd think it wouldn't be able to dig up much. It looks like it's just made out of plastic, but it works quite well. There's our first fossil, and there's another one just chilling out right over here. Awesome. And we'll just sort of take a quick run around the island trying to find other fossil spots, and then I think after that, we'll be basically good to, whoa, that's a big fish. Probably a black bass. But I gotta check. Whoop. Maybe it could be something new. A new river fish, that'd be fun. Okay, come on. Ah, it's just a black bass. All right, well, had to try. And I will just take a quick run around. I did see a fossil spot over that way, so we already know of one spot. And I will go to the Able Scissors today for sure. I just, not right now. Fossil spots are what I'm mostly just keeping my eye out for. I guess the rocks as well would probably be pretty good. So right over this way. Um, just looking for the money rock, really. But if we find some extra stuff along the way, I'll take it. But then after we get all of our daily to-do out of the way, I will definitely go and, um, talk to uh, the dodo birds and we'll go and check out this wedding situation. It is cool that we have another event. I'm pretty sure this event lasts the entirety of June. Um, I don't know if it's anything that's gonna last us more than today. I don't think it's really all that much of a long-term event. It's not like an egg day kind of thing. So we'll have to see how that ends up going. It might be a little bit lackluster, but I mean, that because that was sort of the thing, right? With the uh, museum day. The museum day was cool, but it was literally the same thing for like two weeks. 
uh, if you did it once, you basically did it every time, you know? It, it, it wasn't any different. So, yeah. I'm hoping it might be a little bit different this time, but I'm not expecting it. It's just a little bit weird how they've been tackling the events. They just haven't been too substantial since. I mean, Nature Day was cool because we had some extra Nook Miles we could get, but this time, it's just not really too much. It's, um, or at least since then, we just haven't gotten too much. Anyways, we're just gonna keep on digging at these rocks. Hopefully, sooner or later, one of these is a money rock. We've already gotten three out of the way. Why did the music go away? Oh, because it's, I was gonna say, that was a little ominous. <laughs> is something about to attack or something? No, if it's just because it's, it's 1 p.m. All right. Let's see if you're anything new. I'm not expecting it, but maybe. Okay, we already have you. Payout job. I mean, hey, I guess it's just stuff we can sell, right? So, that's not too bad. And I don't see too much more over this way, so we'll just keep looking around, but. I mean, I never talked to them about their the turnip prices. I gotta do that. <laughs> I'm hoping for at least 104, but even that would only make me, I think, an extra, oh, here we go, an extra 5,000 bells compared to what I spent. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. But as you can see, we're doing pretty good here. We got some extra money from the money rock. So I just want to see how many fossils. We've gotten three fossils so far. I know of a fourth one over this way, so I'll have to take a look. One of those uh, dragonflies was unlike the other. I think that one that just flew that way was a darner. So let's try this one. I don't know, maybe this is a darner. It always likes to turn away from me, right at the last moment. Ready? Oh, come on! They're so tough. I think I have it, though, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Was it up here, or was it over there? Hmm. I'm not seeing it anymore, so might have been on the other side. Yeah, I guess I had to be. So, switch over to the vaulting pole, and we'll jump over to that side and keep looking for more. Get that shovel out, right there. Hmm. There it is, so this is fossil spot number four. There might be more, there might not be. I am so bad at this. There are times a charm. We'll just take a quick sprint to find out. I don't know if like red is here or anything, that would be cool, but he is not. Oh well. Oh, here's a money tree, not bad. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. There we go. So a thousand bells dug up. I'm going to dig them back in. And I'm not seeing too much more. Oh, more weeds growing in. I, I swear that the weeds have like changed colors. Aha, here's fossil spot number five. So we're, we're getting somewhere with that. That's good to see. And what about down this way in this little corner? Nope, not too much. I do wanna see what this pond fish might be. That'd be cool. Whoop. That's gotta get your attention. Really? It was right in front of you. Oh my gosh, this guy's tricky. Don't you do it again. Oh, okay. One step ahead of you. What's it gonna be? Ah, uh, really? Just a carp? Okay. Well, we tried. So we did find fossil number five, which means there's probably a sixth one as well. So let's start looking around for that. Best way to do that will be to uh, get up here for right now and poke around real quick. Uh, we'll get the uh, vaulting pole. But yeah, the next thing we're trying to do monetarily is save up money so that we can set up the uh, bridge that we have the framework for. I wonder that with the seasons, maybe the weeds have changed. It's possible. But yeah, I'm seeing a lot of the same butterflies and stuff. I was honestly expecting more when it came to new critters. I'm a bit bummed out by that, but maybe that'll change uh, in the next couple of days. Maybe it takes time, it eases into the summer. Yeah, most things seem the same to me. I guess spring and summer just don't have too much of a difference. Sort of a shame. Okay, let's go ahead and get this, so maybe this is new? Nope. That is a bluegill. Hmm. There's another tiny little fish. I might as well take my chances while I have them. 
I think I hear a present on a balloon. Yep, another uh, little pale chub. So let's look for that, uh, that balloon. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, might as well get on this side then because it's gonna <laughs> take its time getting over. Do we have any money right now? We have 19,000 bells. We could start just putting money aside to this. Um, how many? How much did you need? Oh, 129,000. We have, oh, have other people been donating? That's cool. Because I didn't put that away there, I don't think. So I'll go ahead and put away 10,000. Donate, yep. There you go, Lloyd. And let's grab this wherever it went. So what does this present have for us? Oh, faux shirling boots. <laughs> Fancy, <laughs> very stylish, bright pink. And let's also switch over to our shovel again, because we're still looking for one last fossil spot, right? So that could be just about anywhere. So it's worth it to take a look. Oh, there's another pond fish. Hi, Celia, how are you doing? Great to see you, zebra feathers. Let's talk. I'm trying to make the most of today. Me too. I'm trying to make the most of every day, really. Uh, What's the latest? Did you know that Sahara is visiting Stripe right now? If you're in the market for a new rug or something else Sahara carries, she has good deals, feathers. I agree. And I will definitely uh, chat with her a little bit more because we do have her tickets, so I definitely want to cash those in. Oh, this guy's going to be a little problematic, isn't he? I'll wait for him to turn one more time. Because it seems like the intervals of time in which they turn is exactly the amount of time it takes me to pull out my fishing rod and, like, set it up again. Oh, crawfish, right? Yeah, we've already gotten one of these. But I know I needed that for a challenge at some point. I never got it. <laughs> oh, well, we got one now, though. We'll just be able to sell that. Still not seeing the next potential fossil spot, but, oh, you know, we were already down here, weren't we? It could be up on the tippity top, then. I will go up this way and, like, look down there as we're running up. I don't think it'll be down that way, but you never know. Yeah, it definitely isn't. So it has to be up here. Okay, well. I'll also throw this out. That did not work. <laughs> okay, try again. Pondfish are definitely the toughest to catch. They just, they're always so tricky with everything. Oh, there's our final fossil spot. Uh, that was not a good one. Try again. That was, I'm trying to turn to the right. It's just being really picky with me. There we go. Let's see how fast we can get this little one. Taking a while. So, it's another, you guys are all over the place today. Let's get our last uh, fossil spot. We'll go ahead and get these donated and assessed and everything and sold, whatever ones we have left after that. That would be pretty good. See, that's been pretty good so far. Um, I don't see too much more I need to do. So after all of that, we should just be good to uh, head over to the to the Harv's Island and see what's going on with that one event. That'll be cool. Okay, so. As you can see, we're at the uh, museum now, and he shouldn't tell us a bunch about Museum Day anymore, because museum, museum Day should be over. Uh, everything should be back to normal. Yep, yep, yep. Start museum. Yep, okay, he just gets right to the point. I appreciate it. So we had six fossils again. And what do we got for these ones? Ah, uh, all six of them are duplicates. That's crazy. So I'm going to uh, leave now. I don't have anything else to offer you, I'm sorry. But we do get a daily challenge done for getting those assessed. I think there might actually be a daily double as well, so glad to get that out of the way. Yeah, we're just, we're going pretty crazy with collecting these fossils. I need to get one more wood. I totally forgot about that. That is not a daily double, but could have been. But the, uh, the wood is times five, so obviously it's a very easy challenge to do. It's worth doing. Um, stone axe, hi-ya. There we go. So let's quickly just uh, grab that 
That's uh, 750 miles or to 44,000. And I already have a uh, island ticket I need to spend. So yeah, we'll get to it all. Right now, that we'll sell to Timmy and Tommy. We'll have to see what the turnip prices are, and then we'll shop at Abel Sisters. If the turnip prices are good, we'll sell those. So there's still a couple of things we yet have to do. Um, hi, guys. So first, I want to sell. Um, we have a bunch of this stuff. Oh, not the shoes. <laughs> I want to keep as much clothing as possible. So that seems to be about everything that I want to get rid of for right now. That should still be a good chunk of cash, I'd imagine. Six fossils, 24,000 bells, not bad. And let's talk to you about turnip prices. Turnip prices, 436? What? I didn't know it could get that high. Oh my gosh, I was, I was not expecting that. I bought them for 94 each. That's gonna be a huge margin. How much is that? I'm gonna check that right now. 436 minus 94. That means I'm going to be making an excess profit of 342 bells at the, you know, I did that, I'll be doing that 500 recurring times. I just made 170,000 bells of profit. Wow. I can't believe that. Is that, is that common? <laughs> is that something that happens often? Did they jump up that high in price? Wow, I should have bought more. This, don't, don't fall into that trap though. That's something that I think with, you know, this kind of investing can be something that eats away at you. Like, oh yeah, I could have bought 100,000 bells worth of turnips, but I didn't. And I can't go back and change that, right? So learn from it and maybe prepare a little bit more in the future. Try to buy when they're low and sell when they're high and be patient, you know? That's all I can really do. Cause you know, that is definitely something I would fall into with other games um, that have sort of market systems like this, especially like MMORPGs like, oh, but if I had bought more, you know, I would have been able to sell more. It's just like, I did what I could in the moment. And that's just something in general, right? You know, it's easy to look back and think, oh, what I could have done then. But you'll never in the future look back to right now and think, I wish I looked back more often. You know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. So, you know, <laughs> uh, I want to sell. I want to sell you a whole bunch of turnips. 500 in total. And that should be 218,000 bells. And like I said, 171,000 of which should be profit. So just to double check my math, we bought 47,000 bells worth of um, worth of turnips. And if you subtract 218 to 171, you get 47. So yep, I'm right about that. 171,000 bells of profit in two days. That's really cool and totally lucky. I am not claiming anything more than it just being really fortunate. But that's why it's always worth, you know, checking in to see what the prices of the turnips are every Sunday and every day that um, Timmy and Tommy are available. That was just really crazy fortune. But as you can see, according to the stock market, we get two of them done. Wow. So there we go, that's 500 miles. Um, and then there's another one here. So a million bells is the next goal. Okay. <laughs> wow. How are you doing, Kyle? Hey, Zebra, fancy meeting you here. Uh, let's talk. Sometimes it's harder to stop in in a in a store with a better selection, you know. Like I went to this designer shop once, and there was just one hat for sale. I'm like, I guess I'm buying that hat. <laughs> it was forty thousand bells, but I think it was a good decision. I and mean, I guess maybe if it has resale value, you could always hold on to it and then sell it later. You don't want to hold on to it for too long, though. Uh. Anyways, so yeah, with that done, like I said, I want to swing by. Um. The Able Sisters. Oh, and Stu, how are you doing? Hey there! What a what game should I play? How about hide and go seek? I wonder if something fun will happen today. It could. Any old second. Any time now. I'm so excited. You know, you could always go out and make your own fun instead of waiting around for fun to come to you. Uh, is something up? I haven't been paying attention. Let's chat. Man, it's wild how the sky and clouds are different colors and different weather. Just so wild. With this, with this many clouds in the sky, you gotta wonder if they're even really clouds. Maybe they're really cotton candy, you know? Especially the long straight clouds. <laughs> I guess it certainly is possible, Sue. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the Able Sisters real quick. And we'll see if there's anything cool to get here. I'm sure there's new um, clothings on the display stands that we could take a look at. Oh, those are some fancy. Are those like little bendy straw glasses? That's cool. Um. Yeah, fancy flowery stuff today. I like it. Uh, but let's talk to her. Apparently you guys want to let me know if we keep talking to them, they might have more things to say. Mean something, could you talk to the other hedgehog, please? Oh, 
Uh, hey, Maves, could you help th this customer, please? Oh, hey, sorry about that. When Sable's really focused, she gets a little, you know, prickly. <laughs> That's cute. What if I do it one more time? Hey, Maves, yeah, okay, so she's gonna repeat it. All right, well, don't mean to bother you. So, yep, we're gonna go in for right now and see what we can find. A career jacket, ooh, with the short sleeves and everything. Showing a little bit of wrist, I like it. Uh, humble sweater, looking very humble indeed, especially with like maybe a more humble brown color. There is a lacy tank, a tweed jacket, unless you wanna, unless you wanna look like a different t type of businessy. A rubber apron, huh, interesting. Um, corduroy skirt. Uh, we should probably take the apron off. It's gonna block all the other stuff. Uh, there's the floral skirt. Oh, I like the traditional month, month pants. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I like the little, uh, I like little stars on them almost. Um, hibiscus mumu. Interesting. I've never heard of a, a mumu before. Um, jumper work suit. Just in case you just want one simple thing to wear. You don't want to decide too much. Uh, a do rag. Very interesting. Um, hibiscus hairpin. Oh, straw boater. That's a classic hat. And then the drinking straw glasses. Just in case, you know, there's a little party going on. Uh, heart shades. No show socks. So I guess they want to show past the shoes. Flip flops. They will if you wear some flip flops. <laughs> they're, they're the only thing showing, basically. Ribbon sandals, rubber toe sneakers, uh, water sandals. Cool. Lots of cool stuff. Not too much I'm really interested in, though. Uh, all done? Yep, I'm all done for right now. Now we gotta go back to the town center. I have a lot of money on us right now. I definitely need to put some of that away. Um, we did need a good chunk of cash for the bridge, but I wanted to sort of chip away. I didn't want to pay it all off right away. Um, I mean, I could, but I don't know. I might save up some of it. Oh, she's going for it. Good luck, Pashmina. I believe in you. Well, I gotta talk, you know, catch up with um, Tom Nook and everything. He's gonna tell me about my new loan I gotta pay off and everything too, so. But yeah, this is a great start for paying that off too. On top of the bridge. Um, just like that, your home has another proper room, hmm? That's another upgrade to an even cushier lifestyle. Which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 758,000 bells, hmm? Ah, uh, yes, please make your payments using the Nook Stops ABD feature, as you've done before. One other thing I should mention, as part of the home customization services available to you, you can now order replacement doors. Changing your door will change the vibe of your home, so I do hope you give it a try sometime. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes, so I'll have to take a look at the replacement doors. Oh, we got some red brick flooring? I'll take it. So let's go to the ABD for right now. It's just not a good idea to hold this much money at once, uh, so I'd like to just put some of it away. Uh, but we'll also see if anything else is available, either redeeming Nook Miles for fences that we might not have, that we definitely do have. Also, they did say that there was some new stuff, I guess the novelties? No, this, is, this has all been here before. So I wonder what was new. He was saying that there was something new available in the shop. Oh, you know what, it might be the other shop, the other Bell's shop. So we'll check, take a look at that real quick. Um, Nook Shopping. No, wait, I didn't mean to, I backed out of it, whoops. Uh, no, this is not what I wanted. What happened there? That was weird. Nook Shopping, for real this time. Floating uh, by a top planner, garden gnome. So not really anything else except for KK Disco. I don't think I have. Place the order. Okay. Um, we need to get more pictures of everybody. We should be able to do that if we go to uh, Harvest Place today. So that'll be cool. Handmade cape. International Children's Day. Is that a holiday? Oh, that's cool. We also have um, Handmade Crown and Thank You Dad Mug for Father's Day. That's coming up too. That's so cute. So let's go ahead and buy all this stuff. Um, just so that we can have it, because it's limited edition. Um, it doesn't say, well, I guess, yeah, until June 30th. So we only have this month to buy it, so we might as well take our opportunity. Um, I don't know what the INTL is short for under the names of the items. Are, yeah, I don't think it's limited. No, that would that would definitely be different. Um, maybe initial? Maybe it's like the initial running of the, the clothing? I forgot to put the money away, hold on. Gotta do the ABD. <laughs> So, ABD, and we're gonna deposit, we're just gonna do a cool 240,000 right now. That should be good. I can't believe how much money we've made today then, that's awesome. So, we're gonna sign off for right now. And we're skedaddling. 
So yeah, at this point, what more do I have to do? I have to definitely put some stuff away in my inventory for my inventory. I do want to check out this new gear though. But we got some Nook Miles done. Um, shop to it. Living on a remote island doesn't mean you have to go without life's luxuries. Shop to your heart's content with the Nook shopping. Yep, so we've done that 50 times. So we get a thousand miles, the 47,000 now. Pretty cool. Um, oh, so maybe those clothes are shipped to us. So I guess we don't have them just yet. Uh, that's fine. So I'm pretty sure that's just about all I wanted to do. Maybe I'll get some tickets out for Sahara while I'm putting some stuff away. But then we can go to uh, Harv's Island. See, this will be our first time exchanging tickets for Sahara. So we'll see what this is like. I think I have six of them in total. Um, so let's see, let's make a trade. This was not an available option before. Yes, it is understood, of course. Wallpaper, flooring, which of these whisper to you? Um, let's do wallpaper, because we just did flooring earlier. In that case, five of the exchange tickets I will take from you now. So here's five of them. And you will give us our mysterious wallpaper. Surely your eyes will grow wide like mouth of yawning beluga whale. Your heart will race when you see it. I sure hope so. Um, hopefully that doesn't mean it's scary. But uh, we'll do that really quickly and then we will go to Harv's Island and see what's going on there. I'm excited for that for sure. Um, so let's yeah wait for this and I guess I'll just do it in this room. Uh, rock climbing wall. Whoa. It's almost a little too crowded, but I like it. Very fancy. Um, for right now, obviously, it doesn't fit with this room, but I will, of course, put it in storage and consider it for some other time. We still have three tickets left over. I will consider what I want to do with those. But for right now, we're going to go to the Dodo Birds and we're going to fly to Harv's Island. So here we are at Harv's Island, look at this. They're, they're, they're chatting over there. Touchdown like making playlists in a pocketbook. We are parked and proud. Give a quack to wing back. I will. Apple Cobbler Static looks like we got a whole lot of radio chatter going on over yonder. Are they arguing? I don't know. Hi guys. So here's Harvey. Hey, I hear you. We're still grooving and the anniversary shoot's gonna happen. I'm just like behind a little. So this is, yeah, I, I know these characters have been in previous games, but I don't really know who they are, what they do. Hmm, well, okay, what what do we do about the lovely sets? Prep, prepping them ourselves could get a bit ticklish. Nope. Hey there, thanks for coming. So, I need to borrow you for a minute. Okay, so this here's Reese, and here, and her main squeeze, Cyrus. Aw, they're married and in love, um, a whole bunch. Far out, right? <laughs> That's cute. Anyway, they want to get some anniversary photos made, fancy ones, with sets and stuff. And cause it's June now, and June is wedding season, uh, here they are. June is a whole season now, whoa. Thing is, I'm cool with lending out my studio, but my wedding sets are running slightly behind schedule. I'd ordered decorations and painted the walls and floors, but then a neat bird flew by and there went May. <laughs> Long story, uh, Long, someone still gotta move stuff around so it looks little wedding -y. Then snap some photos. So, think I could ask you to be that someone? You'd really be helping a, this shutter dog out. Sounds fun. Really? Wow, you're, you're so you're solid on down. Uh, you are solid on, I've never heard that before. Come on, let's go. So I guess we're helping with some wedding photos. That's cool. Oh, wow. Uh, this is my wedding picture studio. It's a, uh, Actually, my kitchen with some set walls put up. Let me know if you get hungry. <laughs> uh, it works pretty much exactly like my regular, not my kitchen studios. But if you forget how those work, which will happen sometimes, just come find me outside. Oh, one thing. If you ever get, if you if you ever take five part way through, no problem. But talk to me before you go back in, okay? Otherwise, Reese is in charge. So if you want to know what to do, she's your alpaca. Cool. Cool. I owe you. They're so adorable too. They're already in their wedding. Wedding outfits. Hello there, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Reese and I'm just as pleased as Punch that you're helping us out. And this is my hubby, my darling. <laughs> Name's Cyrus, good to meet you. I just know these photos are going to be so romantic and just in time for our anniversary. Of course, we do this every year for our anniversary, but it's always special, isn't it? It's just like a slice of life from that year, a delicious slice, almost as sweet as our love, right, hun? That's right, sweeter than the sweetest frozen parfait. Oh, you, such a romantic. Oh, sorry, I forgot we were doing uh, what we were doing for a second there. We're just so lost in our own little world sometimes. Anywho, so here's what we're, we're thinking of uh, this year's photo sets. A recreation of our entire wedding day. 
and you can help us by making this place feel like we're saying I do all over again. It'll be just like decorating your own place, easy peasy. Oh, I almost forgot. My amazing Psy guy even built some custom wedding furniture for the shoot. Isn't that so sweet of my schmoopy? He really puts his heart into them, so I hope you can make them work. Just open up the event tab and take a look and grab what you want for the shoot, okay? So today I'm thinking we should take a ceremony photo uh, in, place that, in a place that looks like a wedding chapel. It'll just be like a real ceremony, professing our love for each other in front of everyone. So romantic. What we're looking for is cute set with plenty of pink and white, preferably using lots of the furniture my Psy guy made. Just let us know when you're ready for us to start posing. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay. Not much of a designer in that way, but I will certainly try. So we can go here and this has all the event stuff. It also has like all the stuff that I have, I think. Or maybe no, these are just like, I mean, some of these things are what I have, I think. But um, I'm not sure. <laughs> It's a little weird. I guess you get like every bug type that I've caught. <laughs> How about a bunch of diving beetles? <laughs> Happy wedding day. Um, so yeah, let's go to the event. We got the wedding benches, wedding decorations, white wedding wall, white wedding flooring, and of course the uh, blue wedding rug, which is already all set up. So if we wanna, you know, really make this seem official, we definitely want the benches. I think we'll do three rows of them. And then what we're gonna do is over this way. And it like it's pretty well set up for this idea already. Um, as you can see. Yep, and then just one more, just like that. Pretty cool. And then we're just gonna do the same thing on this side. And like, maybe we can add our own little flares, but at the same time, I don't know if I have any properly matching furniture that would look, look good with it. I like this music though. And also while we're here, we should probably bring in some of the other villagers. No, maybe not this room specifically, even though we do have that option, right? Oh no, this is, no, not disagreement. I agree, I agree. <laughs> there we go. Um, and this is my clothes, <laughs> unless I wanted to change up. I mean, I could, I could, let's see if we have anything that at least, well, we don't want to wear white, right? Because that's what the, the, the groom and the bride are supposed to wear. So we want to wear something like dark, more professional. Oh wow, so I have more outfits than what I actually have. Oh, fancy. Um, so we'll look around and we'll see if there's um, any kind of suit we could wear, tuxedo. There's not, so we're, we're sticking with the, <laughs> I don't want to go ice hockey. <laughs> I think we'll keep with the, the jumper because um, it sort of almost looks like a, like a buttoned up tuxedo, right? Um, no no shades, I thought that'd be a little bit uh, not proper. And do we have any fancy hats? Not really. I guess we're not supposed to wear hats during a wedding. I don't know if that's actually a thing. I don't know too much about weddings. I mean, I know like the basic stuff that everybody would know about a wedding, but I'm keeping my hat. <laughs> uh, what's this? Oh yeah, this is where we can do custom stuff. Oh, oh it didn't save. Whoops. Uh, there we go. Good enough. Take off the glasses. Change. We still have the bag. Just consider us the camera crew. How about that? Um. So yeah. I mean, I guess that's mostly it. I mean, actually, no, not quite. Remember, they still had the uh, the flowers, right? Go to the events, um, wedding decorations. So these are on the wall, gotcha. So we could put these. Oh, can we make variations? Oh, look at this. Oh, I like that. I'll just keep with the, the pink for right now. That seems to fit pretty well. I will put these in a more formulated spot once I edit them. Can I edit these as well? Yes, but they said that they wanted white and pink. So I'm going to keep with that. How do I edit the wall? There has to be a way. Oh yeah, plus, here we go. So I wanna put these in between the windows, of course. I wanna make too much sense if they were on the windows. Yeah, it might be good to put them between every window. I don't know, maybe that maybe that's a, too, a little bit too much. I don't know, but it also looks weird when there's like a gap. So we'll just do what we can with this. There we go. And then for this one is a little bit odd, but we we can do this, and that's fine. I think it looks nice. We just need to fix this one. Obviously, nothing too crazy. But we can also take a look if I have any 
available. <laughs> Just have this in the background. I'm calling all the shots. Cut, cut, cut. Can you say I do again? <laughs> we didn't get a good angle on that one. Um... I don't think there's too much more here. And also, we just want to put like a loud air conditioner or something or a scale. I'm just trying to look for anything that's like white or pink. Um, oh, the flamingos! I, I think that'd be cute. Oh, the flamingos! Um, we'll put those like one in each corner or something. Uh, I don't have anything else though, like color-wise, that I'm seeing that would fit. Oh, the <laughs> mom's homemade cake. Not quite a wedding cake. Uh. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much more. I'd be like, wow, that fits. I definitely want to keep with the wedding walls and stuff and carpeting. So I guess that's about it. All right, then let's get Miss Flamingo over here and Mr. Flamingo over there. Isn't that cool? I think that mixes quite well. Um, So we're done. How do you like that? I made a whole mess of, of special furniture just for this shoot. Don't be shy about using it. I mean, it was... A decent little amount, but it wasn't much. Uh, oh, it's coming along. Uh, does this mean you're ready for us to start the photo session? Let's tie the knot. <laughs> Not quite yet. Yay, this is so exciting. Um, but before we get started, I do have another teensy request. Will you be our photographer? I don't, get, don't get me wrong, Harvey's great. It's just, this lovely set is your vision and I want you to realize it. So, when you're ready, just press ZL to launch the camera app and press plus to take the picture. If you find yourself in the frame and you don't want to be, press minus to change what's shown in the frame. Okay, I know we're asking a lot, but I also know you've got this. I just can't wait to see what you come up with. So, I do want it, you know, centered up. Yeah, something like this. So I want to, yeah, change. Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> I like that. So um, for you two, could we, I guess we can't, oh, we can make them look at the camera and look away. I like it like this. I wish we could add people in the chairs. Um, This isn't so bad, though. I might want to zoom in a little bit, if I can. Hold on, let's keep it centered. I don't know, that's not what I want. Um, I think that's cute. Just trying to get it as centered as possible. Ready, and say cheese, or I do, or whatever you want to say. Boom, perfect. Look at those two. Okay. Um. How'd you like it? Oh, that last one seemed nice. Mind if I take a quick peek? Did you take more than one? I'll just look at the last one, if that's okay. Uh, go ahead. Great, now let's see. Oh, my goodness. It's everything I could have wanted. You've somehow captured all the joy and love that my darling and I share in one amazing photo. I love it. Anyway, I have a little something to show our appreciation. I hope you like it. My side guy made it just for you. It's a wedding bench. Well, thank you very much. And, because I'm just full of surprises, I also have some uh, some heart crystals for you. They're so cute, I just hate to give them away, but my side guy likes them too. He'll trade you for furniture. Interesting. Once again, thank you so much for everything. You helped us make a wonderful new memory. You know, this was so fun. Would you be interested in helping us out again tomorrow? Uh, we have the studio space rented for the entire month. Just think of all the different themes we could try. Well, no pressure, darling, but I do hope you'll consider it. Thanks again. So I guess we have heart crystals, and I guess I can give these to, to Cyrus. Howdy, Squirt. Any interest in trading those heart crystals for some of my furniture? Reese thinks they're pretty. Um, sure. All right, what's grabbing you? Oh, so look at this. So we should do this every day so that we can get some of this. If we already have a wedding bench, but we could, just for like the completion of everything, we should probably get a wedding decoration. Three are crystals for the wedding decoration you got. So we should come back in future days so that we can get some of that stuff. Um, um, so I'll keep it like that for now. You wanna get rid of any a few more heart crystals? There's still furniture in it for you. No deal for right now. So yourself, but think on it. So we'll try to come back at some point. For right now, I will. I know that I need a set of pictures. Oh, they're so cute. I'm glad that they're happy with everything. So they're gonna be here every day of June. So we'll have time. Hey, Harvey. I heard you got some real groovy shots in there. Good work. I'm still gonna need help tomorrow if you're interested in it. Really help me out. Think about it, okay? I will. So for right now, can we go back in and do anything not wedding related? I would hope, but maybe not. Oh, here we are. So what I wanted to do, and I'll have to come back to do this again once we have another villager, um, our last villager. 
Uh, yep, so I could use uh, Amiibo to put in more people. Don't have any right now. But... Yeah, let's get some villagers in. Um, who I need is Lionel, Gigi, Kyle, Celia, and Rolf. And maybe Apple, I don't think so, but we're just gonna do that. Say cheese. Um, camera. No, 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 how do I do this? Uh, finish. There we go. Hey guys, uh, can I make you guys do an emote? Everybody at the same time? No, I can't, I can't tell them to make emotes. Oh, well. take photo. <laughs> there we go. It was a little blurry. Goodbye. Um, cancel. See ya. So I think that now that I've done that, he should eventually sell stuff in the shop. <laughs> now he's playing the tambourine. Anything else to say then? Uh, so uh, gonna do more anniversary photos with Reese and Cyrus? Or do you get a question about the studio? Um, never mind. Got it, I'm great at not minding. Like if you wanna use the studio for yourself, I don't mind at all. Just let me know if you wanted to help Reese and Cyrus with those anniversary photos, all right? Yep, all right then. So I guess it's mostly gonna wrap it up for today. Lots of fun. Attention fledgling, this squawker's got a transmission for you. Yes, you, Zebra. Dota Airlines is now dabbing in item delivery and liquidation services start here. Services start here, now, for you, copy? See, you can flap all you want, but an overburdened birdle uh, never get off the ground, copy? You grokking when I'm squawking? Sometimes you gotta do more than flex your wings. You gotta ditch some cargo to fly free, copy? Copy. So, feel free to offload some of your goods with us. We can send them to your home base or buy them outright. Let me just make sure you, I've got my beak on straight so I can plot out the flight plan for you. First, let's talk to Livery. We'll, we'll ship your, your goods safe and sound straight to your home storage. And we won't bombard you with pesky handling fees, so fly high and book as often as you want. Oh, really? As for liquidation, well, let me just confirm that Dodos are collectors. Maybe you, your intel on that was lacking. But it's true, and this service is for those who want to unload some of their excess baggage for extra bells. With Nooks Crowny, our partners on the ground, we'll buy your packages for what you'd get a th via their Dropbox. Funds will fly straight to your bank of Nook account tomorrow, so keep that info on your radar. That's all for the Dodo info on these new services for now. Dodo Airline, over and out. That's really cool. Trainwreck Creme Caramel uh, is reporting Tango Table Tennis is go. Do you require assistance over? Um, so I'm ready to go home. You wanna bust Bunsen burners and bounce back to the Orange Town? Yep. Roger, let's pack snacks and make tracks. So what that means is that at any point in time when I'm at a foreign island, I can just send stuff back in my home. I might not get it immediately, but that will be really beneficial for times where I'm on really jam-packed islands. I have tons of cool stuff, and I wanna make sure I'm bringing home as much as possible. And it's free if I send it back to my house instead of selling it for, through the dodos. So that is definitely worth it. Really exciting to see all that. Um, but yeah, that's mostly it for today. It's still a very uh, gloomy day, I suppose. But it's been a lot of fun today, for sure. We got the buy stuff from Sahara. We made a bunch of money off of turnips. And of course, we helped Reese and Cyrus uh, with their wedding photos. Maybe we'll help again another day so we can keep earning up all that stuff. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.